This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Easy Lace Supreme is a fabric strip designed with reinforced lacing holes to eliminate the need for grommets to secure awnings, canopies, boat covers, and much more. Instead of using grommets for lacing, you can use Easy Lace Supreme. Great for making awnings for homes and industrial buildings. In this video, we'll show you how to use it. The awning that we're making requires the Easy Lay Supreme to be a little bit wider than the standard width. So we're going to add a strip of Sunbrella canvas to it so that it can wrap up to the tie bar that is six inches up. In this photo you can see the Easy Lay Supreme being laced to a uh, awning with a tie bar that is six inches up from the lower rail. This illustration is a front view of an awning, and you can see the uh, top rail, the tie bar, and the lower rail, which is typically behind the fabric. Here's a side view. On our awning, the top rail is six inches from the tie bar, and the lower bar is six inches. We're going to sew on the easy lace here just below the tie bar so we can wrap it around the lower rail. Here we have a large awning that's been sewn together. We're going to take a measurement from the head where the awning rope has been installed. That's uh, typically up against the building all the way down here to where the scallops are. We're going to mark the uh, Sunbrella acrylic fabric with the soapstone pencil here. Our first mark is 221 inches down. That's our top rail. Here, six inches down from that is our tie bar, and nine inches down is where we'll sew on the Easy Lace Supreme. And then at uh, 12 inches is the lower bar, where the Easy Lace will wrap around that and tie to the tie bar above it. Remember, we've extended the width of the Easy Lace, and it'll be sewn at that point you see there in the video. Then it'll wrap around that lower rail, and it will be laced to the tie bar to tension the entire awning. So here's the easy lace with that extra strip of fabric sewn on to make it a little bit wider and uh, it'll be sewn on here and down at the bottom is the lower rail where it'll wrap around and then leech line will be used to tension it or tie it tight to the uh, tie bar. Now that you understand the process of using the easy lace in an awning, let's show you some of the construction techniques. Okay, I'm going to sew on the very edge over and then sew up here that way we know exactly where we're sewing at. Because we're building this awning for a customer that just has emailed us some measurements, we're going to add on a four inch strip of Sunbrella fabric to the Easy Lace Supreme. That way since we weren't able to take measurements ourselves, we have enough excess to wrap around the lower bar to ensure that the awning will fit nice and tight. If we'd been on site and taken measurements directly off the frame, we probably could have sewn the Easy Lace Supreme directly to the awning fabric itself. However, we went a little bit of a fudge factor in here because we're not sure these measurements are completely accurate. Back where we started. Flip it here and we're going to sew along this edge here. So we're going to add this extra 4 inch strip to the Easy Lace Supreme. We're using the Sayerite Big and Tall sewing machine and we're using the Helios P thread. This is a thread that never rots in the sun and is very chemical resistant. All right, that strip has been sewn on to the Easy Lace Supreme. Our customer wants a scalloped edge to the awning, so Deb has a pattern here that she uh, marked on the fabric with a soapstone pencil to determine where she should use the hot knife to cut the fabric to create that scalloped edge along the front and the sides of this awning. Now she's using the angle hot knife, and you notice there's a ruler, a metal ruler on the bottom side to help prevent damage to the tabletop. And notice that anytime we cut this umbrella fabric, we're using a hot knife to help prevent raveling of the fabric. Here to the end, where we're going to start sewing on the easy lace to the awning, we're going to create a single hem here. We'll start to sew the Easy Lace Supreme to the awning on the side of the awning. You'll notice that hem is facing up because this uh, Easy Lace Supreme will wrap around the lower rail so the hem will actually be hidden when we're done. The Deb has used a soapstone pencil to strike a line down both sides of the awning and the front of the awning so she knows exactly where the Easy Lace Supreme with the excess fabric should be sewn down. 
We're going to use a straight stitch and we're going to sew along the entire length of the Easy Lace Supreme on the sides of the awning and also the front. No need for two stitches, one stitch is quite sufficient. Here you can see the Easy Lace Supreme sewing down to the awning, so imagine having a lower rail inside of there and then using leech line to come through the holes of the Easy Lace to lace it to the tie bar above. The last procedure to our awning is to secure the binding to the scalloped edge. We're going to use the acrylic soft binding and let's let Deb explain a little bit about this procedure. It's real narrow and what I've done is, is pulled and stretched it and all you do is just pull to the sides. You want to pull quite a bit out because as soon as you taut that it's going to go narrow again. So you want to pull out. You can pull out as much as you're going to use or you can just pull out a few feet at a time but you definitely want to pull it apart. And then the machine will do all the rest of the feeding. We'll be using the Sayerite Ultrafeed LSC with this acrylic soft binding and we're also going to use a right angle binder three quarter inch attachment. When sewing a Sumbrella acrylic braid soft binding, it's a good idea to use a zigzag stitch. That way you're ensured that you catch the binding as you sew it onto the uh, fabric. And the acrylic braid soft binding is so soft that it doesn't want to necessarily fold exactly in half, so you have to be careful. Deb's going to explain a little bit more of how she feeds it into the right angle binder. You don't want to force your fabric any further than where the cutout is there. You don't ever want to force it in. It'll push it in. It'll pull it off. You're holding the fabric taut in front of the foot. Pull it straight back from the behind. Okay, and we're kind of acting like we're the back of the foot and you want to pull straight out from your foot beside it and remember behind the needle you're not going to sew your hand <laughs> so you just kind of pull in right along with the foot walking your easy lace out of your way you're just kind of acting like a puller to the back you don't want to pull real hard, you just kind of want to pull along with the machine as it's sewing. And at the same time, you're turning with your front hand going around the curve. For more information about using the right angle binder with this umbrella acrylic braid soft binding, be sure to look up the right angle binder with more videos under that product. Order the Easy Lace Supreme and other products from Sayerite today. It's your loyal patronage to Sayerite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.